So 194 countries have signed the Paris Climate Agreement. Only three nations are not signatories to it. The United States, Nicaragua, which thought the emission standards were not tough enough, and Syria. So on the one issue that unites the world, essentially, the United States is now isolated, the proverbial skunk at the garden party. Are you not concerned that this will affect your ability to lead on other issues? Well, I don't think we're the skunk at the party. I think that what we did was we watched out for our country. Look, I was a governor in South Carolina. I know how tough those regulations President Obama put on us because of the Paris Agreement were on our businesses and on our industries. It directly hit our jobs. And so what we want to do is say, look, we are a sovereign country. We're going to make sure we're looking out for the U.S. first. We will always be a leader in the environment. That's what we do. That's who we are. Uh, but we're going to make sure that we're not hurting our companies in the process. And there is a balance. There is clearly a difference between us in Nicaragua and us in Syria. The world knows that. So to put us in that category is, is not a real assumption. No, I'm not the one to put us in the category. <laughs> the president is. But when it comes to those uh, agreements, the reduction in carbon emissions, that was every country set their own standard. Why didn't President Trump just renegotiate the United States standards uh, so to, to make it uh, less imposing? Why withdraw? Why didn't President Obama get this through the Senate? There's a reason President Obama did this from an executive standpoint as opposed to going through the Senate, because he knew he couldn't get it to pass. It was too onerous, the regulations were too strict, and it wasn't achievable, even if we had stayed in the Paris Agreement. And this is the part everyone needs to really think about. If we had stayed in the Paris Agreement, which the countries told us, oh, you can do it, we, do, we won't say anything, that's not who the U.S. is. One, we're truth tellers. We're going to tell the truth. Two, it was not achievable. What President Obama submitted the U.S. to was not achievable under our standards or any other country's standards. And then we've got to look at the fact we didn't want to be in violation of the agreement. And if you look at the executive order that President Trump signed that rolled back the Clean Power Act um, a few months ago, that was already moving towards a pro-business situation. But what we do have is a lot of companies who care about green technology, care about making sure that we take care of the environment. And you have a president who's very focused on clean air, clean water, and jobs.